Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Guess what time it is? It is time for another challenge. Yes, this is a thrift challenge. We've got some resellers that are going to go into a thrift store and we are going to battle it out and you guys are going to decide who had the best haul. So um, after you guys watch all of the videos, you are going to come back to my community page and you are going to vote for who you think had the best five items. You are going to see a sign on my community page that looks like this and you are going to just type into the comments which reseller you think had the best um five items and the hashtag for this is hashtag thrift five and 15 i had to think about it again that is thrift five in 15 and i will type it somewhere thrift five and 15 um so this is fun we had to go into the thrift store we had 15 minutes and we had to find five items to resell on eBay for the highest profits. And I will tell you that I found a bolo and I found a no-go. So when you're hunting through a thrift store in 15 minutes, you don't have time to search comps. So you're kind of just winging it and um, hoping, you, hoping for the best. Um, okay, so what do the resellers participating have in common? Well, they are all members of my Bolo Buddies um, YouTube channel. So I started memberships about three months ago and the perks of being a member are the Bolo um, video that I do once a month where I feature their Bolos in a video. And this month I said, you know what? I want to do something extra. I want to invite anybody that's a member to be a part of a thrift challenge. Um, it was not required. Some of the people were like, oh, I just don't have time this month. Some do not have YouTube channels. They just were not interested. And some were like, yes, let's do it. I love a challenge. Some are trying to grow their channels. So it was completely optional. It's just for fun. And we're just going to roll with it and have a good time. So I'm not 100% sure how many are participating yet. So um, you're definitely going to have to use the hashtag. So again, it is hashtag thrift five and 15. And I'm going to show you right now how to use that hashtag to get to everybody participating. Um, it's not going to be a huge group. So don't worry, you're not going to have to watch like 25 videos, um, but it's going to be a good time. Okay, here's an example. Um, you can see that I put Ben's six into the search bar and I hit search. And it actually pulls up a hashtag right here, okay? If you click on that hashtag, it actually pulls up right here. Me, Chosen Goods Reseller, and Dad Planet. We are the three that were a part of this challenge. It was just three of us. And it actually pulls up just our three videos. So when it's time to do this challenge, if you actually put in hashtag thrift 5 in 15 it will pull up everybody that is a part of this challenge and no one else. So click on the actual hashtag and it will pull up just our videos. So that's how you do it. All right, guys. Hey, Bella Buddies. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I gotta get five items in 15 minutes. I will tell you that I like to get things where I can get kind of in bulk. So um, I can get one item for one cost, but I can get several listings out of it. So I'm gonna show you how I do this in this video. So I'm gonna get the most for my money. And if you watch my channel, you guys have seen me do this before, but um, I did this today. So as in today in this video, I'm doing a voiceover right now. So um, right now I'm just kind of moving pretty quickly through these aisles 
These aisles are typically not areas where I pick things up. So I'm just kind of, you know, it's glass, it's breakables. Not really my thing, as you guys know. I'm more into toys and, you know, the fun stuff. Now this area I do look at from time to time. I'll pick things up. Sometimes I'll try to push myself to get something from this area. And actually I've surprised myself a few times pick some things up and they've actually moved pretty quickly. So um, I do try to look at this area from time to time and again, push myself. There's one item that I actually pick up. I put it in my cart and then I realize that it is broken. It's this awesome horse and it's a candlestick holder, holder and um, the ear is broken. And I was so bummed out. I think it was um, Danbury Mint. It was one of those mints. <laughs> I think there's different ones. There's like Danbury and I don't know. I can't think of what the other ones are right now. But um, yeah, I was pretty excited about it. And then uh, it was broken. I don't know if it had good comps or not. That's the one thing that's kind of hard when you're um, having to only have 15 minutes to source. You have to really scan quickly. So I'm moving back towards the toys, um, but I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm trying to keep it interesting for you guys, but I do find a bolo. I will give you guys, I will give you that. Check this out. I have no clue what it is. Checking out the floor. <laughs> interesting footage here for you guys. We've got some picture frames. I do just record with my phone, so um, this is the craft section. Probably not going to be some big money bolos here unless I find like a really good cross stitch kit, but um, nope. All right, let's see. All right, so we are checking out the games, checking out the toys. And there's lots and lots of toys here at this store. And I do pick up this bag of goodies. And as you can see, it is all of this stuff for one price. And I sold the shoes inside this for $91. And I sold them to somebody named Cabbage Patch with zero feedback. So I'm pretty sure I got trolled. I don't know if you'd call it trolled, but I'm going to call it trolled. Um somebody got me but um i did put this item on my reseller testing products and what i did is i did a video of all of the shoes and i did a video of all of the clothing and then i attached that video to the ebay listing in the description so that the person looking at the ebay listing could see exactly what i had for sale so um the shoes were listed together so here is an example. I go through each of the shoe items and they can see the condition of the shoes and exactly what is in the lot. So it's in the description of the eBay listing. So if you want to learn how to do this, I do have two videos on my channel, my Bolo Buddies channel, and you can go to those and I'll show you exactly how to add a listing to your eBay uh, description. So it's really, really cool. It's a great way to show your buyers how your listing works and or what is in your listing if you're offering like a lot of items like I was. So um, Cabbage Patch has not paid yet. Um, all right, so this Mintident is a major bolo. Um, Mintident toothpaste. It's retired no longer offered it is a bolo so that is my second item that i found super excited about that at the end of the video i'm going to set out all of my items for you guys and i'm going to tell you what i paid for them because i'm not telling you what i paid for them right now because i can't see it so um at the end of the video i'm going to lay everything out and tell you what i paid and um that'll give you a better idea of uh, what kind of deal I got and all of that. So you guys can make a more of an informed decision 
of who won this challenge. Um, the other Cabbage Patch items, they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Now, I did have best offer on that and somebody did offer me $35 and I did not take it. So I was hoping that was gonna get more bids, but it did not. So I actually lost $5 on that. Okay, so this was the third item I picked up and um, I just donated the house and then this is another item that I picked up and what I did was I parted it out and I got four separate listings out of that. And if you wanna rewind, you can look at the four listings and how I listed those. I listed the people that were inside of the house. All right, so that was my third item. This was my womp womp. I totally messed up on this one, you guys. I was thinking maybe those were vintage. I didn't do comps on it because I was in a hurry and um, those were a fail. Um, I put them on Poshmark because I figured that would be the cheapest route as far as shipping and probably um, the place where there would be the least competition for diapers. So that was my logic. But yeah, that one was, that one was a fail. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. My fifth item is pretty good. So we're just moving through the store here. This is my fifth item. It is a Wii, a Nintendo Wii bundle. So again, it's another bundle item where I could have gotten many, many listings out of it, but I kept it as a bundle. I actually got two listings out of it. Um, there was this little like uh, device thing that you stuck in the back of it. Um, I think it was called like Activision or something. Like All right, you guys, 15 minutes, five items. Here's what I got. That was not easy. I will say after I grabbed my five items, I spent much longer in the thrift store. Um, but I grabbed these items real quick. So we'll see how I did. This is doll clothes. I have not gone through it. It was $6.99. It's either going to be a want want or it's going to be good. I don't know. Um, what I saw was this right here, this little bag, and I'm hoping for the best. This I'm pretty sure is going to be a bolo. You guys know, meant to dent. Um, I'm going to pop up a screen share for these items, um, once I actually get them listed. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if these are vintage or not. I'm taking a chance on these. These were $5.75. So... This could be good or maybe not. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do okay on this. This one I paid $4 for. This I paid three for. Now, the reason I bought this is because you can see all of the people inside of it. I hate the houses. I don't like shipping them. I don't know how I'm gonna list this yet if I'm gonna part it out and just sell the people. It's pretty dirty, which, um, drives me bonkers because I hate cleaning stuff. But uh, yeah, for three bucks, I was willing to do it. Uh, toys were 25% off today. So I did get a discount on that. Um, this set, I paid $19.99 and it says that it works. So obviously I haven't verified that, but I think they test stuff. I don't know. Um, I figured for $19.99, it's got some games, We Fit Plus, Zuma, Zumba. Um, it's got the, the Wii console or Wii Fit. I don't know what this is. Um, Nerf, it's some sort of bat. So you guys, I this is not really my scope of things, but for this challenge, I wanted to grab it. Uh, here's the bar. Uh, so I don't know. I figured if nothing else, I could part these out and make a little bit of money. So the challenge for me is gonna be listing this because honestly, I really hate listing stuff like this. It's just not my thing. I don't like electronics. I don't like testing it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to get my husband involved or I'm just gonna list it as is. I don't know what this Activision thing is or what this is. So, um, 
yeah so 15 minutes five items honestly like i was like do i this came out of a mystery box i just unboxed um i'm recording multiple videos today so yeah uh those are my five items so stay tuned all right let's start with this bag let's see what's in here um this is what I'm most curious about. Uh, this says Mattel uh, 1983, maybe? So it looks like it's a little food tray. Um, let me get some of this stuff out of here. All right, well, honestly, like, I can't say that I'm real, real excited about what I'm seeing here. Um, these earrings, maybe I could sell individually. I don't know. It looks a little bit, um, uh, I don't know what that is. Some binoculars. These combs, uh, this one says flower princess. Uh, it, it would, it's going to take some work to try to figure out what identifying some of these. This did open up. It says 1977, so it is older. Uh, I was hoping there was going to be some Japan squishy shoes or something like that in here. Um, so far, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too excited. So maybe I'll just throw these in a lot and, uh, I will look this tray up. Um, it's kind of cool, but, uh, I don't know what this little butterfly, that might be able to, Google Lens might pick that one up. Um, yuck. So we'll see. Uh, let's see what else is in the bag. All right. Well, the good news is, is that a lot of the pieces are marked Cabbage Patch Kids. As you can see, I have not pulled them all out of the bag, so I'm going to get them washed up and kind of see where we're at. Check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.